As Ramadan comes to a close, we look at one of the key jobs that is singular to the Islamic holy month. It is a solitary role that requires only three hours of work each day after midnight. Adil al Maruki introduces us to Mesarati in Egypt. <laughs> With his father's 50 years old drum, Hassan Baraka walks in the streets of Cairo's Il Maniel district, banging on his drum after midnight to wake up people. Sounds annoying. Well, Hassan is a Masaharati, so it's actually his job to do this, and many pay him for it. In fact, he's very popular here, particularly among the kids. Ramadan has an essence of its own. It brings happiness. It has its own rituals. If there is no Mesa Harati, there is no Ramadan. To be able to last this long, people would have a suhoor. It's the last meal before dawn, so Baraka stands by their houses and call their names until they respond. People won't be able to fast without us. It's a habit. As a kid, I was fascinated by the Mesaharati, and when I became one, I loved waking people up. There are fewer Mesaharatis these days than before, mainly because many stay up so late. But Baraka says the Ramadan spirit in general is fading away. Every year, I would find the streets decorated in bright lights everywhere. Ramadan's happiness is decreasing. You can't apply to become a Mesaharati. It's an inherited job. The Barakas have been passing it on for generations. And one day, Hassan wishes he'll do the same. Because I only have daughters, I didn't pass the job yet. But maybe my grandchildren can inherit the Mesaharati in the family. That's one of the last Sohor meals in Ramadan. The holy month will soon be over. And Baraka will no longer be the sweet old man that wakes people to have this meal and be able to last for 16 hours of fasting. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.